What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Zacian from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's begin this drawing in the center of our page. We're going to shift over towards the right to leave room for the sword. So starting right here, we start with a point to the bottom edge of the crown. Now from here, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. We'll go up. And we're just going to bend that out. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Going up and bending that out. And then from that center point, we're going to step up, draw another point, and go down now towards the left, and then the right. Now we're going to tuck the iris underneath the edge of the crown. So starting on the left, we're going to draw a small circle, almost like a half circle tucked in underneath. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then in the center of the iris, we're going to draw a small black dot for the pupils. From the top of the iris on the inside, we draw a short angle line coming down on both sides. And then we'll work our way around the outside of the eye. Starting down here, we curve around the iris. And we'll pull that up underneath the edge of the crown. Let's move back to the tip of the crown. We're going to move down and draw a curve left to right to the top edge of the nose. And from the ends, we're going to curve down and in towards the center point. Let's start on the left. Come down and in, go to the right, and curve down towards that bottom point. And then from the bottom tip of the nose, we're going to step down, start with another point. From here, we're going to curve out and then down, go back to the center, curve out and then down. And we're going to round out the side of the muzzle. Starting back on the left, go out, and just hook that in, just beside the nose. I'm also going to add two fangs on either side, starting from the bottom point, come down and then back up like a V. Do the same thing on the right. We'll add a smaller fang on the inside. Now that we've drawn in the muzzle, we're going to layer the sword in behind. Let's start on the right side with the handle. I'm going to draw two short lines going out, one along the top and then one along the bottom. Now let's overlap these lines with a straight line coming down. Go back to the top and go down and out towards the right. Come down to the bottom and go up towards the top. Now from these two points we're going to come out and in towards a point. Let's add in the gemstone. From the top point we're going to curve across and then down. Come down to the bottom and go out and then bend that up. Now we're going to extend these two lines on the left side of the muzzle. Start with the top line and then line up the bottom. Let's close off the end with a straight line. And then from the top, I'm going to curve up and then out. Come down to the bottom and curve in the opposite direction. Coming down and then out. Now we're going to move back to the center of the sword. From this line, we're going to step over towards the left. Start with a point. From here, we're going to angle up and out towards the left and then down and out towards the left. Now from this point on the right side, we're going to line this up all the way over towards the left. Draw another point. We'll angle up towards the top right. Go back to the left side, angle down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to draw a straight angle line in towards this point. We're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there. And then from the bottom, we'll aim up towards this bottom point. Right there. Let's add some gemstones around the hilt. Starting at the top, come in, and we'll angle up. Come down to the bottom. Go out, and angle down. And we'll add another one on the outside of the hilt. Starting at the top, a straight line coming in, angle down. From the inside of the hilt, we're going to draw two straight lines going out towards the left. Let's start with the top. Straight line going out to right about there. And do the same thing along the bottom. And we'll add a notch along the top and bottom. Starting here, we're going to come down and then back up like a V. And then from the bottom, we'll go in the opposite direction. Let's add that gemstone. Starting back on the left, we're going to go up and then down. And do the same thing on the bottom. 
Now we're going to continue these lines going out towards the left side of the sword. Go out, right about there. Do the same thing on the bottom. Now we're going to merge in towards the center point. Let's go back to the top, curve out, and then down. And come down and then bend that in. Now for the tip of the sword, we're going to step in, start with another point, and go up, and down. Now we're going to come out towards the center point. Start at the top, and go down towards the middle, and then the same thing from the bottom. Let's go back and finish off the muzzle. From the side of the muzzle on the left, we're going to step out, curve up, and then in behind that center point of the crown, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Going out and then down in behind the handle. Now we move down from the side of the muzzle and move down and out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's connect these two points with a curve. Going up the middle and then back down. Let's go back to the left side, curve down and in towards the center point, curve out and up towards the right. Let's add two small fangs along the bottom. Starting on the left, we go up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we want to fill the inside of the mouth in black. Let's go back up to the top of the eye. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and just pull that in. And the same thing on the right, just underneath the eye. And then draw a straight line coming down the side of the muzzle. Now we're going to fill the inside of the face in black. Now I'm going to go back up and finish off the crown. Let's start with that center piece first. Starting from this point, we're going to step up. Draw another point. From here, I'm going to curve up over the left eye and then out. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Now let's flatten off the end with a short line going up. We'll pull this in towards the middle, leaving a gap in the center. And from the inside, we're going to go straight up and then bend it out. Straight and bend this out towards the left. Right. Flatten off the end with a short angled line. And then we'll connect the inside with a curve. Coming down the middle and then back up. From the bottom point of the crest, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Let's go all the way up to the top and continue that line going up towards the top of the crown. From the top of the crown, we're going to angle down and out towards the side. Let's we'll start with the left side. Out. Same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw a half circle. Come around, and just pull that up. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the end of that half circle, we'll draw a straight angle line going up towards the tip of the crown. From the top, we're going to curve the crown coming down, in behind the hilt, and then underneath this point here. So start on the left, and out. Rounding out the crown. We're just going to go in behind the hilt and then continue on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top, go out, come down. Now I'm just going to pull this in towards this point underneath the eye. Let's add some details along the edge of the crown. Starting on the left, and go down and in. I'm going to line this up on the right and draw that same length line. And then we'll go straight out towards the side. Let's do that again. Stepping down, and go down and in. And we'll go straight out. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and finish off the head. From the bottom of this half circle, we we'll go up and then pull that in behind the crown. Line this up on the right and do the same thing, going out and then down. And from the inside, we'll draw two straight lines going up towards the tip of the ears. 
And then from the tip of the ears, we're gonna curve out, down, and then pull that in behind the head. Let's trace the ears along the inside. Starting from the inside, straight up, pull out and down on the side, and then close off the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with a straight line on the inside, round up the bottom, and go back up to the top, curve out the side, and then we'll fill the insides in black. Let's draw those two flaps that come down the side of the jaw. So we're gonna carry this line underneath the handle, going all the way down towards the bottom, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from here we're gonna curve out and then up underneath the crown. Let's start with the left side. we we'll go out and then up underneath the hilt, go to the right, go up underneath the handle, and continue straight up underneath the crown. And then from the center of the chin, we'll step all the way down, Draw another point. From here, we're going to curve out and up on the left. Going in behind the flap. Go back to the center, curve out and up on the right. Now, from the tip of the flap, we're going to step up and curve out and then down. Line this up on the right and do the same thing towards the same height. And then from the bottom, we're going to curve this up and in behind the sword, sort of aiming towards the base of the crown. Go up, and then that in. And then on the right side, we'll do the same thing. We're gonna pull this all the way up, and in towards the base of the crown. And then from the top, we'll step down, curve out, and then down. And we'll pull that in behind the side of the crown. Go up, and then in. Let's take this and flip it over on the left side. We're gonna start with that top edge first. So let's line this up, curve out, and then down. I'm gonna show a little bit of the bottom edge in behind this hilt. So we'll start out here, go out, and then down in behind the sword. Let's stay up along the top and draw on the wings. From the side of the crown, we're gonna step out. We're gonna pull that same curve of the crown going around, and then all the way up to the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to round the crown, then up towards the same height. Then from the top, we hook this down, coming in and then down. Let's go back from the left side. We're going to draw the top of the wing. We're going to go up, and then bend that out. Do the same thing on the right. Going up, and bending that out. Let's flatten off the end with a short line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. I'm going to follow that same curve aiming towards this point. Coming in, we're going to stop right about there. And then we're going to taper that back out. Just lined up with the outside of the wing. Let's draw another short line coming down. Same length that we have up on top. And again, we're going to curve in and then down. And then we'll taper that back out towards the side. And we'll draw another straight line coming down towards the bottom of the wing. Now going back to the left, we're going to curve this in and then down. all the way down towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Bring it in, and then down. Let's add a notch on the inside. From this corner, angle up and in underneath. Do the same thing on the right. Now going back to the inside from this point, curve out, and then pull that in on the side of the crown. I'm going to tuck a fin along the back of the wing. Starting at the bottom, we step up, out, and up. Same thing on the right. And we'll taper that down and then in. Now that we're done with the top, let's work our way down towards the bottom of the legs. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw the inside edge of the leg. We curve out, 
and then down, line this up on the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. And then from here we're going to curve out again, and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Do the same thing on the right, towards the same height. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, come down and then up on the outside, and doing the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left and curve the top foot. We're going to go up and hook that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add some detail on the bottom of the foot. Starting at the top, go a straight line coming down, and go up and in. Do the same thing on the right. And the top will come straight down, and go up and in. Let's go back to the left and do that one more time. Going down, and go up and in towards the inside of the foot. Now let's draw on the outside of the leg. From this point, we're going to step up, go down, and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Going down and in towards the same height. Now I'm just going to bend this down and then out on top of the foot. Now we're going to move up and draw the lower part of the body. Starting on the inside edge of the left leg, curve down the middle, and pull that up on the right. We're going to step up and draw that same curve, coming in behind that center point, continue up on the right. Now let's draw the inside edge of the hind legs. Starting from the left side of the body, we're going to step in, just follow the same curve of the leg coming down to right about there, and the same thing on the right side. Now going back to the left, we're going to curve in and then down, and we'll curve down and out in behind the front legs. I'm also going to add the tail in between the legs swept over towards the right. So let's start on the inside edge on the left, curve down and over, and we're going to taper that back up towards the top. Let's add another point, coming down and over towards the right, and again we're going to taper that back up, and then one more time, curve this down and out in behind the hind leg. Let's add those ribbons along the side of the body. We're going to start underneath the sword on the left. Start by curving down and then out. Round this out, come down, and at the bottom we're just going to hook that back out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from this tip, we're going to step up, curve down and out. Come back down, starting to curve, and at the end we'll just hook that back out. And then we're going to add two points along the bottom. Starting on the left, we're going to taper that back up and come back down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and then down. And then we'll draw the inside of the ribbon. Starting back on the left, start by curving up and in. Go straight up and then bend that in underneath the sword. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. We'll start by curving in and up. We'll round this out and pull this in behind the side of the body. Now we're just going to add one small detail on the side of the shoulders. Starting on the left, curve down and in, line this up on the right, do the same thing. And then we'll taper that back up and out towards the side of the shoulders. And that's pretty much it. There's Zacian from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.